Hi guys, welcome back. This is Freekan from Ask Next. And just few days ago, Microsoft's translator app arrived to Google Play Store. Yep, you guessed it right. That means Microsoft's translator app is now available for Android. So that means Google Translate has a new friend. So the application looks a little bit different from the google's translate app it's really neat you on the you get a home screen where you find four options with the microphone the keyboard the history and the pen so speaking of the features there are lots of difference between the google's translate app and the microsoft translator app so just a uh, few days ago google also rolled out a feature to its translator app uh, named v word recognition somewhat like that where you can just take your phone and uh, keeping it on the v on the word will translate it to you so maybe uh, this those features will come to this app uh, in the future so i hope for that and i just think that it should come it would be a really nice one because people could just translate it easily so let's look at the features first. So first we'll go for the keyboard one. Here. Okay. Once again. Sorry. So here you see. On the left hand side. Bottom you see the English word. And on the right hand side. You see Spanish. So that means that. The right left hand side is from which you are going to translate and the right hand side is to which language you are going to translate so starting so just click on the start typing and you can type any word so just we'll start with hello this is how it uh, it's its loading process so and now it says it's not getting it oh now it's appeared hola hola microsoft translator app let's try something else too welcome there you have it so for this i also have another option that's for pinning it up so that you don't forget this word or if you want to just pin a special word which you think is going to be useful in your future or which you think we would forget that so like this one and another one is you can click on the speaker Bienvenida. it will speak it out and on the third side third you see a full screen like expansion logo clicking on that will give you the word in the full screen here also you get the option of the speaker. Bienvenida. so this is a nice one from the Microsoft that's not bad it's good so we'll be seeing some more update if Microsoft is willing to take its application more up in the future. And next we have is a microphone. Hello. right now it is recognizing the words and it's processing actually what i said and to which thing it has to translate from the english to the spanish so here you also have i think there are lots of uh uh sorry the lots of there are lots of languages which uh, microsoft has given to you to translate so on the description of this application it said it would be supporting 50 languages so as you can see also you can see that it's taking a lot of time so maybe it would take even more time so it's not that much pretty fast as the google translate so yeah it's it is not a big big application right now because it doesn't have that much features so we'll see it future because microsoft uh, may give some other updates also so 
Microsoft, I would be waiting for that and I would be seeing that. And I will be surely using this application every day so that I can get used to some new words. I can learn language easily so I don't have to go to any classes or something like that. Here on the left side, you see the clock system that is the history. So here you can see I just translated two words, hola for Spanish and the welcome to Spanish. So here you also, so here are the green of the pin, you see the pin button is now green. So that means the word is pinned. If you click on that, it's unpinned. That's it. So this is where your history goes. And by going to that area, I can also pin it once again. And on the left, on the right hand side, you also see the pin icon where you can find the words you have pinned. So these are the four features which it gives. And by going to the settings, we get the speak translations and the continuous updates and also clear history. If you don't want the application to have every each and every words you translated. So guys, you can see that it has a nice background. So it is pretty much looking nice. So what do you think? Comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. If you have liked it, I will leave in the description the link for the application. And once again, subscribe to our channel if you liked and I promise you that I will be uploading one video every day and maybe even two. So, and as always, keep visiting, stay updated. Thanks.